What's up everyone, Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 and I got another new RC car to review. This time it's the EM Racing 1.8 scale monster truck Tyrant. Looks pretty cool. Now, who is EM Racing? Well, that's what I said to myself because I haven't really heard of them much at all. I have seen some of their quadcopter stuff, so they are in the RC market, but for cars I haven't seen them much at all. But I could be wrong and they could have heaps of different models and stuff like that and be awesome but anyway this is the first one that I've seen. Now Banggood sent me this car if you want to have a look at that I'll leave the link in the description down below go check it out but uh, first impressions are very good. So in this video just going to give it a nice unboxing and a good detailed look at what you get in the car. All right, here is the Empire model or EM Racing Tyrant. It is a 1.8 scale monster truck. The box is massive. Now, I do like the box. It does look very cool. There is no, no uh, images or anything on any other sides of the box except for this cool uh, diagram up the top. Now, the chassis will look very familiar to the HVI Savage Flux, so that's something to keep uh, note. But anyway, let's go uh, check out what's inside. I've not opened it up it's a virgin unboxing so let's go see what you get inside now i haven't seen many of these on the internet actually i saw uh, rc buyer had one of these and i thought that looks pretty cool uh, banggold had them at their website so i thought i want to go check it out and see if it is any good and how it actually holds up but let's get it open <whistles> yep she's just stuck here we go cooking with gas now that is open so we can have a look and see what you get inside first thing first let's go check out the instruction manual that is always handy when you buy a kit em racing or em-rc.net is their website and the manual here seems pretty good it is in english and it does have uh, pictures and diagrams and hints and tips along the way to tell you what to do and also about the maintenance and stuff like that as well because this does take uh, two LiPo batteries as well so that's something to uh, keep in mind nicely done and if you ever get in trouble you can always check this and see what you've done wrong if you can't put it back together but there we go center diff 6s only that's how I'll be running in this bad boy later on but it does take 4s and 6s but anyway i won't fuss on about this too much it uh has a pretty good explanation about the car and all that kind of stuff so thumbs up on the, the manual and stickers we all like stickers so that's just some uh windshields and front bumper and rear lights and stuff like that hunky dory so here we have the transmitter feels quite nice not too heavy obviously it doesn't have batteries in there and it only takes Thank God for AA batteries, which is always pleasant to see. Everything feels fairly well made, no issues here. It does have a nice foam uh, steering wheel cover here. Very cool. Channel one is your steering trim, which is just here, so you can flick it left or right for that. Uh, channel two is your throttle trim, obviously, and they also have a dual rate here, which is pretty cool for your steering. Up on top you have your reverse switches and your end point adjustment as well for channel 2 which is your throttle so you can give it a different range of uh, throttle which is nice to see. Now here is the beast. It is quite large actually. I'm pretty impressed with the size of it. It's definitely held down with some solid cable ties. Bloody cable ties. Some of these are so huge. I need a bigger studio. One, two, three, four. Okay, now that mammoth box is gone. I can zoom in a little bit now and have a closer look here. I like the uh, actual, the graphics on the body. That will look pretty cool. And you might think this looks a bit dull. It has this protective plastic on here to aid in the protection of the body during transit. Does look quite nice. Let's do a flexibility test. Seems to be working like it should. Very cool. I'll put the stickers on that later, but yeah, top uh, top marks for the graphics. I like it. Now this kit 
has a waterproof Hobbywing 150 amp ESC. And the good thing about that is it is rated up to 6S batteries, which is fantastic. I've got heaps of 2S and heaps of 3S batteries, so I'll be doing a test on 4S and 6S to see how it actually performs. Now, obviously with two batteries, you have to have two battery compartments and these do seem quite sizable. You kind of flick this down and then you can just open this compartment there and you got this little foam block to kind of, you know, you can take that out if you need to or you can leave it in there and you can squash up in there to uh, have a nice tight fit so batteries don't fly around all over the place. But that's pretty cool design. The majority of the the actual components are plastic, uh, but that's not a bad thing. It does flex quite nicely. That's a benefit of plastic, and everything so far seems pretty well made. The motor for this bad boy is nestled in here, and it is a quite decent one. As that is a 22 kV 4074 brushless motor. So hopefully it. Uh, can put up with the punishment and while I got it and this angle you can see the actual steel gears in there they are quite thick and the slipper clutch is right there as well so at least you don't have to rip the whole car apart to get access to the slipper clutch if you need to change that as well now under this kind of splash proof compartment there are some goodies that we want to check out so I'll undo this screw here and while I'm undoing this this kit does feel pretty good quality to be honest it uh so far impressed so only thing we have here is a three channel receiver and a massive 35 kilo uh, waterproof steering servo so that's what it says in the specs if that's correct that is quite huge and should be more than enough to uh, move these tires around now it's nice to see that the servo horn is aluminium that's cool normally you see some of these kits are plastic and they could strip off the spline but so far aluminium and it does look you know pretty thick and uh, that's good to see good thing about this kit is our old metal gears a hardened steel spiral cut and they uh, definitely should be able to take the uh, punishment that you're going to be putting in with this if you're running 6s and some of the other videos I've seen it seems to run well and it's funny I have not seen much videos about it because it does look quite impressive and uh, yeah not too sure why but I definitely will find out. Now as you can see here you have a center differential. It ha does have a slipper clutch so that's awesome if you want to adjust it. But its actual drive shafts are huge and uh, the dog bones as well that lead off to each corner of the car are massive so they do look like they are thick steel. And I forgot to mention that all the hardware is all allen keys or hex head uh, which is nice to see. No Phillips head here to strip out everything around the car is the same so it's really nice everything is countersunk nicely underneath here so no issues of getting hung up or something like that but definitely dirt and mud can ingress into here which is I guess inevitable really now here is the front dog bone drive shaft it is very beefy and they are identical on all four corners of the car I don't see any issues with that at the moment not much wiggle or play in there so hopefully it should be good holding up to some of that power now the vehicle length is uh, just over 530 millimeters. The vehicle width is 427 millimeters and the height is 336. So that kind of gives you a good overall size of how big it is. I'm pretty impressed actually. It does look nice. It seems quite pretty solid. And uh, I don't know how it will put up with my backflips that I will put it through at the skate park, but uh, We'll find out later on in some other videos. Now anyone who would have seen HBI Savage definitely would know this layout. It has these kind of twin, you know, vertical side panels on either side, sorry. that are They are high grade aluminium apparently. It's 6061 grade aluminium and it's kind of sandwiched all the components in the middle there. So it's kind of hard, hard to see everything there. But uh, yeah, very similar to the HBI Savage Flux. That is uh, for sure. Everything does feel good. These side panels are quite thick and all the underneath here seems very well made. All this plastic is extremely durable or it's extremely thick from first uh, glance and so are these suspension arms. And the good thing about these arms is they are identical on all four corners. So if you break one, 
you can just swap it out with another set. And the good thing about it, there are parts available at Banggood already for these. So some suspension components and some gears and some other stuff like that. So they are available. So if you break something, which is kind of inevitable, you can get replacement parts. On all four corners, you have these huge shocks. They are threaded plastic bodied shocks though, but at least you don't need preload clips. They seem to be pretty well tuned from the factory, but that's nothing to be concerned about. You can always change the oil if you want, and you can always adjust this dampening or the uh, preload that you have on the spring here. But so far, so good. Would like to see an aluminium shocks and shock uh, shock bodies and shock caps but it is what it is it i guess will be a good test to see how durable they are okay now for you wheel and tire aficionados the wheel width is 85.5 millimeters they seem quite big and yes they do have a 17 17 millimeter hub which is nice so you'll be able to chuck on any other style of monster truck wheels and tires if these don't seem to uh work well but time will tell so far so good they do have a quite nice foam insert in there so yeah can't really say anything from it from the first impressions but they do look good they seem kind of tacky nothing like a rock crawler tire but so far so good but uh tests will uh, find out how decent they are now the plastic uh, on the bumpers are quite nice not too hard they don't seem too brittle they definitely have a good bit of flex and uh the design seems pretty good. If you hit something, it just seems like it'll just kind of deform then pop back into shape. Now that's the same with the front bumper here, which is nice to see. Kind of weird looking design, but uh, yeah, it'll work, I guess. Now I've just put all the stickers on and it is ready to go. I think it does look very cool. Now, just a quick, um, well, not warning really, it's just this kit doesn't come with any batteries. It requires two LiPos, 2S or 3S, and obviously four AA's for the transmitter, which is, you know, that's nothing really. But for example, any 2S, these, for example, here, these hard case fit perfectly in there. These are 4,000 milliamp, uh, three cell LiPos. I think anything roughly above 25C would do the job just fine, but that's only downside doesn't have any lipo batteries or i don't think doesn't even include a charger for that matter because it doesn't have a battery but that's not that big of a deal next video i will run it on 2s and 6s to see the difference in between any questions please leave them down below and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible i will also leave the link from banggood in there if you want to go check it out that's it guys steve here again from rc tanks and trucks 24 7 Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.